Hey there, and welcome back to Transformers War for Cybertron. As you recall, in the last episode, I showed you the final DLC escalation map, and now I'm going to be covering something that a lot of you have been asking for for quite some time. That's right, I'm going to be showing you how to play as the Snipers, and that is done via scale mesh swapping, and is actually really simple. I will walk you through the entire process and hook you up with all you need. Also, special thanks to W. Dread and Irudisu for granting me permission to share this with you. But with that out of the way, let's get to it! Okay, so we need to start off by setting up our game to load the necessary packages for the mod in question. If you've seen my tutorial, you should more or less know how to do this. But, otherwise, we're going to be heading to our DLC and modded map folder. And, for the sake of this demonstration, we are going to be going to A5 Try Base. So, make sure you have that in your modded map folder. But, once you have that, we are going to open up our Trans Engine file. And locate your A5 section right here. Okay, so for this mod, we are going to be replacing the Autobot Machine Gunner with the model of the Autobot Sniper. And you're gonna need at least two packages to make this mod work. It might vary depending on what character you're trying to play as, and what character is in what package, but generally, it's gonna be at least two. So first, we need a package that has the playable character we want. In this case, the Autobot Machine Gunner. And another that has the unplayable, in this case, the Sniper. So, I know for a fact, the Machine Gunner is in the Escalation Remnant Base file. So I'm just gonna take this data, and paste it under A5 Try Base. Now that's great, but we still need a package with the sniper. And what I know for certain that has the sniper is A1 Iacon Base. So I'm gonna copy that name and paste it under A5 Try Base. Now the game is set to load all the assets we need for this mod to work. So that's it for the Trans Engine. We're all done here. So now, let's head to our Colased file. The first thing we want to do is replace a character in the A5 chapter with the Autobot Machine Gunner so he'll be playable. So, just for simplicity's sake, we'll go with Bumblebee. And we can do that by replacing the Bumblebee Robodef file with that of the Machine Gunner. And save it, and you got that set. But, we want to play as the Sniper. So there's still one more thing we need to do, and that is include this code. This little binding is all you need. It works the exact same way as replacing a primary color or energon color. You press the designated key, restart checkpoint, boom, you're the sniper. I will include a file that has codes for all the bonus characters that don't have robo deaths. So you'll have all you need. Me personally, I'm using Z. You may have to use something else. Doesn't really matter. As long as you've got a binding that's available, just use that. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go encode my Colised. You should all know how to do that, so I won't bother showing you that. I'll see you in game. As you can see, we are the Autobot Machine Gunner. But that is not who we want to be. So. What you're going to want to do is press the key for your scale binding, which in my case is Z, then restart checkpoint. And as you can see, you have now become the Autobot Car Soldier. Unfortunately, so has everybody else. Yeah, that is one of the unfortunate side effects of this mod. Any character you wish to become via this binding, everybody else in the level gets changed the same character. So, you're gonna get some pretty busted up, uh, skeletons. Oh, and also, another little issue to mention is that this can only be done on the first checkpoint of a chapter. If you try and use this binding on a later checkpoint, you're gonna crash. So, it's gotta be done on the first checkpoint. Additionally, our color isn't quite right. So, let's fix that. I'm going to hit my two color binding keys, P and C, and restart checkpoint. And there we go. 
The sniper is about all set to go. All he needs now is his weapon. And there we go. There is the Autobot sniper. All set and ready for action. So yeah, very simple mod to do. And this can be used for any character you want. It can be used to get the flyer with the jet legs, the fully armored tank, Decepticon sniper. All those guys can be done via this method, but it's gonna affect everybody else. It is the exact same procedure for the Decepticon sniper. So again, I'll show you real quick. Start the game as the Decepticon machine gunner by replacing a character that appears in the first chapter. Hit your Skelmesh binding key and restart. And there you go. You are the Decepticon Sniper. And so is Megatron and everyone else. All we need now is his weapon. So yeah, it is the exact same method as the Autobot Sniper. You can use this same strategy to get anyone else you want. That's about it for this mod. Again, I will have a list of all the potential skill swaps and package data, so you won't have to do any digging. So, I hope you all found this guide useful. Have fun with it, because you can get some pretty crazy skill swaps between models. But yeah, that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one where we take a look at some unused animations. Till then, be a good little soldier.